Hey guys, Brian, I'm going to show you the backtracker trophy in Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, and that is using uh, all the hidden paths to return to each area of the game. Now, there's five gates you have to go through to get this trophy. Now, what I did is I started a new game and immediately ran all the way to the top of Little Tipworth. And then I ended up following the path as far as I could, uh, went down the yellow road to get to here, and we are going to find our first shortcut path. What you do is you go through this gate, and then you see the gate in front of me? That was previously locked. This is heading into the farm area. When you're in the farm area, that gate is locked. All the gates are locked until you get to the next area. So make your way around, uh, go through that gate, and then I'm going to show you in one long supercut. I'm not doing any edits here except for the increasing the speed of the video, and show you where all of them are. Now, there's five gates you have to go through total in order to get this trophy. So that was the first one, entering the farm from Little Tipworth. Now, the next one is going to be going from the farm into the Tipworth Forest, and that's going to take you by the ponds in Tipworth Forest. So to get there, we're going over here just north of the wheat field, and I'm going to follow a fence line over here, and then you're going to see an opening here just momentarily that we can go up into. So here is the opening. This is actually uh, uh, the shortcut path, but you don't actually get credit for it until you go through the gate. Again, the gates were previously locked. You couldn't get through these until you get to the next area. And here is the second shortcut gate. So and that's it. We're going to go back into the farm area. And then we're going to go over to the uh, pond in the, the farm by the, uh, by the building. So we're just going to follow the fence line once again and just keep going along the right here. And then the next uh, path that we go down actually has three gates that you have to go through within the same uh, shortcut trail. You'll see momentarily what I mean. But we're going around here, going to the back side of the pond to the house that's down here. Here's one of the maps up ahead. Of course, check my channel. I do have a video of all the bird book locations, the maps, uh, and all the radios and everything. So go ahead and check all those out. But once you get here, you got the building, got the haystacks there. Go and jump over this fence here. This is the final shortcut trail. However, it forks in two different spots. So I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. Uh, but you'll probably figure it out on your own. But go up here and you see this white signpost? That is our first fork. We can go right or straight. So what we're doing is we're going to go straight. And this is going to take us back into Yawton, the uh, first town that you entered. And here's the gate. Again, it was previously locked. But now it is open. So we have returned essentially to the beginning area of the game. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to take two uh, side trails that uh, both lead into the uh, Tipworth Forest. So let's go back up to the uh, signpost here, and then we're going to turn left. Again, this is one long supercut. I didn't do anything other than travel along the road all the way up to the top of the map. So this is uh, just exactly what you need to do to get the trophy. So here's the second fork here. Now there's two short trails here. Uh, we're going to turn to the right and you see a house in front of us. That is the house with the, the tree house in, in front of it. But there's another open gate. Again, it was previously locked. So go ahead and go through there and we are going to return back to the uh, main shortcut trail and turn right this time. Of course, you can do these in any order that you wish. I'm just showing you exactly how I did it. So we turn right and then we're going to follow this trail up to another open gate. And this is our fifth and final gate that we had to go through to get the Backtracker Trophy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, share the video, and of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already.